obviously this is a, this is a school that um, you know it's going to be a battle every mm -hmm. single time we play this team, um, regardless of the season or regardless of the time of the year. Um, I know at their place they jumped out to a really mm -hmm. monster lead at the beginning um, with some really hot shooting. So from a, from a game planning and coaching perspective, what was what was the big key notes to to stop them from doing that? Right there? Yeah. First of all, I want to. You know, I have a lot of respect for Coach Mendenhall and his players. You know, those guys have really battled through a tough year this year, and uh, they're still they're still fighting. And so, kudos to him for getting his guys. You know, every game they're they're losing a lot of close games, and you know tonight the ball just bounced our way a couple of times. And um, but uh, I, I was you know I thought uh, that both teams played really really hard, and that's a lot of credit to to them um, because you know they've struggled this year to win games and yet they're keep they're keeping on, you know, fighting. So kudos to Coach Mendenhall and his staff and, and that group of players. You know, we knew that we needed to play great defense. We need to contest everything. And um, you know, I thought uh, we had a little bit of a hiccup in the beginning and then the last nine minutes we held them to five points. And I thought, okay, we're doing what we need. We just were struggling on the offensive end. Um, you know, we 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 continue to be our own worst enemy. We do something well, and then it takes us five possessions to go back and try to do it again. So, you know, that's that's learning. Uh, I think you notice we started three freshmen and a senior who's really only played one year. So, um, you know, we're, we're still learning a lot of that. Uh, I love how these guys went into practice yesterday and bought into what we needed to do and then just came out today and, and executed it. Um, we got to make free throws, though. Yeah. You know, 19 misses at the free throw line. That's a whole ball game in some cases. So, but overall, very pleased. Uh, just talking about the last, I mean, we're on a three game winning streak now, four of our last five. Just, uh, you know, I know Luke talked about earlier, just kind of the mental shift. Of, um, guys coming in a lot more mm -hmm. focused, a lot more intensity, um, and really believing that they can win. Yeah, when you lose 12 in a row, and then you get a little taste of victory, it's, it's, you know, it's easy sometimes to get complacent, and we did that against Johnson and Wales. They're a really good team, and they beat us pretty badly. I was really proud how we bounced back over these last three games. I told the guys in the locker room, two of our last three have been, you know, down to the end, and we've gutted it out and, and you know, made the plays at the end, and that's how it should be at home. You should get those wins at home. And so I think we're starting to see our freshmen, you know, play with some poise. Um, you know, we're getting great leadership from our upperclassmen and uh, great, you know, great play. Um, and quite honestly, our, you know, our, our lineup changes that we've made have been productive for us. And so, you know, we're, we're pretty pleased with where we are, but, um, you know, we, we gotta, we just gotta keep going forward and continuing to realize that every game, we gotta go out there and play with poise, composure, and great effort. Kyle, it's, uh, Rocky, you had a pretty near perfect night statistically from a shooting perspective, um, but really down the block, I mean, I, I, coach said it happened. Their team that could that can really match up with them shut you down. So, um, just talk about your confidence going throughout this game and, and um, just how the offense was clicking. Yeah, um, our offense got to a little bit of a slow start, um, kind of similar to the Warren Wilson game. We just we weren't really hitting shots, and I think it kind of like the defense. It was just hard to we had to manufacture our own energy because the first last two games the crowd was just crazy from the start, and I mean the crowd was great tonight, but. Uh, it just wasn't quite the same since Tuesday. And um, right now, I, I mean, I just have a lot of confidence from about anywhere on the court. Um, when I get in the post, um, I feel like I have enough moves that, uh, I mean, guys are going to have to be really disciplined. And I knew they, these guys really wanted to go after and get uh, blocked shots. So I was just looking to <coughs> uh, just give them some head fakes and give them some pump fakes, and I knew I'd be able to get some open shots. Marshall, let's talk defensively a little bit. Um, they have some really quick guards. Um, Wright in particular, uh, pretty fast guy. Green is a pretty fast uh, guard as well. Uh, just so so defensively, uh, what was your mentality and mindset as you took to those guys? Um, I think it starts with confidence. I mean, like when I go out there, I know Che thinks the same way because we talk about it all the time. But when you go out there, just you got to think that you're better than and the guy you're guarding and that you know you could stay in front of him and just it, defense is all about effort. You know, like the last few games I've been struggling offensively, but I'm just trying to focus on what I can control, and that's defense. You, you mentioned a little bit of, of struggling offensively, but one thing you've been doing very well the last couple of games is 
um, realizing that pretty early on and you become very much more assist minded the rest of the game. I know a couple of times tonight you would drive through the lane, get the entire defense to collapse on you and find the open person. Um, so just talk about contributing, you know, when the, when the shot necessarily isn't yeah. falling. Um, I think I'm just trying to stay in attack mode and I'm not necessarily going in there thinking I'm going to pass, but when the whole defense collapses, it's Kyle and Che, and those guys are always open. So it just makes it easy for me. What do you think has been key um, for the last couple of wins? Um, it starts, it's all started on defense. Ever since we've been winning, we've, been, we've just been playing good defense and, you know, really getting after guys. And another thing that's uh, helped us is getting to the free throw line and attacking. I mean, we didn't make that many free throws tonight, but we got there a pretty good amount of time. So that's been helping a lot. Um, there's just been a totally different mentality all around. Um, like it, you mentioned, uh, just times we, there were times when I don't think we believed we could win and, uh, that's just gone now. Um, we could have easily, we got down, uh, like eight points in this game. We got down by 16 against Warren Wilson. We could have easily packed it in and we didn't like, we keep fighting. We have. We have a totally different mentality and a confidence to us that we know that like just this one little run isn't going to be a big deal. We know that we have a good enough team that we can put off a big run too. And so I think that's been, that's been the main thing. Early on, season Bruins would have allowed that to turn into 12 or 15. Um, so again, that mentality just seems much more uh, composed and much more confident, even when they get down to six to six to ten. Yeah, I think you know we've played uh, what 22 games now, mm -hmm. and uh, we've we've had some, you know, we've had some opportunities to to get better in a lot of games to to walk away and go, boy, we should have done that differently and done that differently. And I just think for these guys. You know, there's a time in the season when it just starts, okay, you know, last year we won eight of our last 11. You know, and, and these these guys are starting to buy into their role. Like I said, we made some adjustments in the lineup, and the guys have just completely bought into the adjustments and changes, and it's made us better doing things the way that we're trying to do. We're, we're trying to get up and down the floor more. I think as, as a coaching staff, you know, we kept trying to find the right combination and then the right style and and – you know, we're trying to get the ball up and down the floor and try to get free ones, you know, easy ones up and down the floor. But then when we get in the half court, um, you know, we're, we're really confident with the guys that we have and, and getting them uh, attacking the rim. And when, when they attack the rim, good things happen. A tough opponent coming up on Thursday at North Greenville. They, mm -hmm. they bring a lot of experience, a lot of size. Um, but they're coming to our place. So mm -hmm. what, uh, what do we take from this three-game winning streak that we can build this week? Yeah, I think it's it's one of those things where, you know, basketball is basketball. They're going to be bigger and faster and stronger than the opponents that we have played and beat. But on any given night, any team can come out and put together the right game plan and play with the right poise and composure and beat anybody. I firmly believe that. Now, we got a long ways to go. We They, they really uh, just stomped us in the first half, and then we played a really good second half. So we need to keep them at bay a little bit. Uh, we got to play great transition defense. That's they just killed us in transition in the first game, and then we need our we need our guys to continue to be consistent in making shots, rebounding, playing great defense, making it harder for them. Um, and you know we need we need Bruin Nation to be there. This is a game that I, I you know um, I can't imagine why you wouldn't want to come. I mean these are crosstown rivals. These are uh, you know we've never played at home before against North Greenville really anticipating a lot of our friends from North Greenville coming over and, and being in the stands. So, you know, we need Bruin Nation to be here to balance that out. And, uh, you know, and then we just got to go out as a team. And I, and I tell them every game, I cannot come across that line and do anything. It's That's what you do. You go do your job. We'll do our job on the sideline. You cross it. You do your work. And then we'll see what happens at the end. All we're asking for is a chance.